Hey guys, today we're playing a 2-5 meetup game here at the Aria. It took me a minute to get in here. I've never actually parked at the Aria South Park. I've always valeted. I don't even know if I'm supposed to go up or down. The tournaments that the Aria typically hosts are high rollers, so I don't really make it down here that often. But the poker room is beautiful here and the staff are really good at their job, so I'm happy to have an excuse to come down and play here today. Not even 10 full minutes into the session, we've looked down at pocket kings and a lot of action ahead of us. The cutoff raises to 15, the button three bets to 55, and we're gonna cold four bet from the small here. We make it 150 to go. Folds around to the button and he makes the call. The flop comes down seven, five deuce with two diamonds. And I'm gonna see bet 110 here. The button raises here to 310. First thought was, oh man, I hope he didn't slow play aces pre, and now I'm just getting myself in trouble. But when he only has about 400 behind that, I don't think I have much of a decision. If he has aces, good for him. I'm going all in to get called by queens, jacks, tens that are overplaying, and any nut flush draws that he has as well. I go all in, he thinks for a while and surprisingly folds. I was not expecting that him to raise almost half a stack and then fold. But there you go. We take down a huge pot, hand number one. And before I could finish scooping up that pot, I looked down at ace jack offsuit on the button. We raise up to 15, big blind makes the call. Flop comes down ace jack seven with two clubs. When he checks it to me, I bet 20, he makes the call. Turn is a nine of hearts. So now things are starting to get a little interesting. There's multiple draws on the board, but we still have top two and want to go for value. So when he checks again, I bet 40, he calls again. The river is an offsuit six. So when he checks it to me, I'm deciding on a size to go. With all the draws bricking, I want to size up here. So I bet 125. He thinks for a while, flashes me the ace of diamonds and makes a correct fold. Nice lay down. Only 30 minutes into this game and this lady has been opening a lot of hands, but she's been limping in and making it 15. This time she's in the hijack and makes it 20. Just something to note for later on. If we get to showdown, I wanna note what she's making things bigger with. I call on the button with king six of diamonds, maybe a little loose, but I'm in position. I can make the nut flush. Small blind calls for 18 more. And so we're off to a flop three ways. Comes down king 10, 10, rainbow. When it checks to me, I check back. I'm not gonna get three streets with this hand. A little deception never hurt anybody. And yeah, off to see a turn card. Comes a five of hearts. Small blind checks it a second time. This time the hijack decides to delay C bet. She makes it 40. I make the call. We have top pair. Small blind gets out of there. River comes an offsuit jack and she doesn't take too long before betting 65. So I was thinking, man, she could have gotten tricky with king queen or maybe checked king jack herself on the flop. Both of those beat me still and would go for value on this river. She could have been trapping with a 10 or an overpair, like all those things for value. And as far as bluffs go, maybe she could turn an underpair to the board into a bluff, but she also has ace queen that she could have delayed c-bet and gotten there on the river with. So I don't know, it didn't feel really good. I reached for my chips, was about to call, and I just, at the last second, decided against it, muck my hand. You always have to take these things with a grain of salt, but after uh, another hand goes by, she brings this hand up and seems annoyed, like, did you fold a king that hand? And claimed she had ace-10 suited. So when people do that, I feel like they really were genuinely annoyed that they didn't get value. So take it for what it's worth, but she claimed ace-10, and so maybe we have made a good fold. The session is off to a great start. This hand starts about 45 minutes into the session and the villain in the hand is my my neighbor, Jim, who I've already seen has called a ton pre. He plays very quickly and he's very straightforward post flop. I love this guy. I open a seven of clubs in the hijack and Jim quickly calls oh, yeah, in the cutoff. The We're heads up on a flop of seven, six deuce rainbow with one club. Top pair, backdoor flush draw. We're doing great. I bet 20. He snap calls. <laughs> the turn is an offsuit king. I check it over to him. He quickly bets 40. I make the call. River is an ace of diamonds. And to be honest, I didn't even really think too hard before checking it to him. 
but I probably should get a sneaky lead in here because even if he did have a king or something like that on the turn, he'll call the river, but he won't bet it himself. You know, if he bricked his heart draws, he wasn't bluffing a lot. So I don't know. I think I should probably just lead here, but we both check. I flip my hand over, we take down the pot. Just a side note too, Arya's cash games are still playing eight max. And in meetup games, they always keep one seat reserved for the vloggers to walk around and change tables so they get to play with everyone that comes to their meetup game. So we're really playing six or seven handed most of this session at the beginning. Anyway, in this hand, under the gun opens to 20. Under the gun one calls 20, although I didn't see it before I made the call in the small blind. I have ace queen offsuit, could squeeze, could three bet the under the gun, I just call. Big blind comes along as well. So we're four ways to a flop that comes down ace, king, nine, rainbow. When it checks to under the gun, he bets pretty big for a multi-way pot. He bets 55 into 80. Under the gun one makes the fold. I call, big blind's out of there. The turn comes in offsuit nine. I check it over to him and he checks back. The river is an offsuit jack. I don't really think I'm getting value from worse, especially on the Jack. So I check it to him. He thinks for a while, checks it back and says something about not liking that river card as well. I show my hand and we beat King Queen offsuit. Yeah. All right, in this one, we're in the low Jack with ace Jack and diamonds, beautiful hand. I open it up to 15 and our good buddy, Jim in the high Jack makes the call. Bob comes down, king, eight, six, rainbow. And at this point I've developed sort of a read on his play post flop. He loves calling the flop and is very straightforward on turn and river. So with a backdoor flush draw, with an over card, I'm going to start by C betting this flop. I bet 20 and no surprise, Jim makes the call. The turn is a deuce of diamonds. That is definitely one of those cards that I'm gonna be barreling on. So I bet 50 and he pretty quickly folds. Only a few hands later, I pick up pocket jacks on the button, raise it up to 15, and no surprise, Jim comes along in the small blind. Flop comes down 5-5-3 five, five, rainbow. He checks it to me and I bet 15, which I know I've been betting in this sort of range, so I don't wanna just size up all of a sudden and scare him off, but honestly, he wasn't really thinking about size. You just call every flop, so I should just bet bigger when I have jacks. But I was trying to have some sort of balance, which, you know, whatever. I bet 15, he makes the call. The turn is an eight of diamonds. He checks, I bet 50. He quickly folds. This time I give him a little show. I show him the jacks just to reassure him that I'm not just barreling him off all these other hands. <laughs> this is really fun. You guys, if you haven't been to a meetup game, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really good time. People that come here are ready to socialize. That's why they show up to these things. So if you're on a downswing like me and you need a pick me up, you need to re-remember why you love poker, come to a meetup game. It's really, really fun. We're about two hours into the session and I swear I thought I was only in for like 45 minutes so far. It's just flying by, a lot of good conversation with the people at my table so far, so really good. It also helps to have run super hot already and be up, you know, I think 800 bucks, maybe a little more in a 2-5 game, so that's really, really good. So they brought out pizza for everyone. Poker goes handing out free hoodies. Definitely worth coming down here, checking it out, playing poker in one of these if you get the chance. So after I sit back down, the man himself, the man of the hour, Mr. Brad Owen sits down at our table. And even though our table has already shown a lot of action, they're not afraid to put chips in the pot. I have a feeling they're gonna try to outdo themselves now that Brad is here. In this one, we look down at King 10 offsuit in the hijack and make it 15. Jim is in the cutoff, has never seen a hand he doesn't like and flicks in the call. So heads up to a flop becomes ace, king, queen, two diamonds. I wanna pot control this one. So I check it to him and he snap checks back. Turn is an ace of diamonds bringing the flush, but I don't think he would have checked back a flush draw or an ace. So against a lot of opponents, I might double check this if they were capable of doing that. But against Jim, I'm gonna go for value. So I bet 25, he quickly calls. River is an offsuit deuce. I'm gonna check this time. He quickly puts out a bet of $30. And I actually took a second, just a second, because I thought, wow, did he actually get tricky this time? And if he's just, you know, finally turning something into a bluff. It's just too cheap. And if there's any guy at this table who's earned it, it's Jim. So I toss in the $30. He turns over a very surprising hand. He flips over, pocket deuces. So yeah, was not expecting that. He rivered a boat on me and I just slide the chips over to him. Nice hand. 
The button in this one is also recreational. He raises to 15 and I look down at Ace with the hearts in the small blind. I'm gonna three bet this one. I make it 60 and good old Jim in the big blind. He's not afraid of a three bet. He comes in for 55 more. Button makes the call. So we're three ways of this bloated pot. I'm out of position with uh, not a great ace. Flop comes down king six five with two hearts. So the board is starting to bail us out here. Easy C bet, I bet 75. It takes a while, but eventually they both fold. Five different things. <laughs> In this one, MP limps for $5. I raise it up to 20 bucks with 9-8 suited. And even though he hasn't been featured too much in this vlog, our friend on the button's name is Leonardo. He's been talking all day about quitting his job at a railroad company and starting a poker vlog. So the whole time he's been asking questions about how to vlog, how to do this, how to do that. Brad's at the table, he's asking him questions, and he decides that this is his first hand ever that he's gonna vlog. So he whipped out his camera before making the call. He's trying to get it all set up at the table, and that's the only reason I really included this hand. He makes the call, Limper makes the call, and we're off to see a flop. Is this the first hand ever? First. Meanwhile, Leonardo is struggling oh with his camera. Flash goes off, guy next to me gets annoyed at him. <laughs> I'm on picture here. Anyway, flop comes down, ace high, icy bet. They both eventually <laughs> fold, and Leo gets his get first order? hand okay. on camera. Good for you, Leo. All for one on the vlog. So as I'm getting ready to leave, Hijack limps in for five bucks. I make it 25 on the button with pocket queens. Get a nice premium to end the night. Big blind three bets though. He's been playing very snug for the past four hours. He three bets to 100 from the big blind. So it was a little bit scary, but I have queens, I'm not going anywhere. The limper folds, I make the call. The flop comes down five four deuce with two hearts. He continues for 115 and I have a pretty easy call. The turn is an offsuit seven. Again, he bets $210. So now his range is really narrowed to like over pairs, ace X of hearts, maybe, maybe a wheel ace if you three bet that pre, I'm not sure. Obviously pocket aces, pocket kings. I beat most of that, so I make the call. The river is an offsuit ace. Really interesting card here. I think that a lot of people would be scared of it, but when you really look at it, it's like how many ace X does he have? He does have like the flush draw ace X. He has pocket aces. And then he has, you know, some limited amount of ace queen and he has ace king. But he doesn't always double barrel ace king and he doesn't always double barrel ace queen. And I have two queens. So I don't know. I really feel like maybe the ace is just like a card that he looked at and was like, I'm gonna just bluff this card. But he only bet $315. And I don't know. I feel like if he was trying to get me off a hand like queens, jacks, 10, something like that, he would probably go a little bigger. So I went back and forth for a really long time, went well into the tank, landed on a fold, and he called out my hand. He asked me if I had pocket queens. And uh, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel good when your opponent calls out your actual hand. But you know, he also knew I was vlogging and he didn't show the vlog a bluff and he knew I was leaving. So I feel like, I don't know. If he had a bluff, he'd probably show or at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself to sleep better tonight. Always sad to take a hit right before you're about to leave, but that concludes the meetup game. So we didn't get into any pots with Brad and he's now left the table. Other people are starting to leave, game is starting to slow down and starting to break. Well, unfortunately I had to leave on that note. I need to go get some food. You know, a win is a win. Yes, we didn't get to win as much as we could have if we just racked up uh, like 10 minutes earlier, but Got to think about, you got to zoom out and think of every session as just part of one long session. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before, but today we're in for 1000 and out for 1455. So almost win a buy-in, you know, in four hour period. That's pretty solid stuff. Happy to book a win today in the cash session. Had a great time with Brad. Had a great time with my table. Looking forward to playing with you at the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, good luck at the tables.